Home front to Phyllis Kelway, the authoress, is her miniature livestock farm. So let's introduce the white goat, I Scram, who shares a house with a perky bush tail. Miss Kelway's hobby is the breeding of livestock for food, and her Carpe Campbell ducks quite agree about the food. Running a livestock farm is a whole time job, but Miss Kelway does it in her spare time, after the usual office hours. Mother goat gives about two pints of milk a day. But nothing ever gets Miss Kelway's goat, unless it's her camera getting a good picture. This goat's a scrub, and her kids are fortnight old. Blackout, the Alsatian, is the guardian of the flock. Month-old chicks get their ration of split maize. The hens, after you, Maud, are chiefly light Sussex. They lay tinted eggs and are good table birds with good table manners. Goose, duck and hen fruit, less than a week's work. Authoress Kelway not only writes with pens, she makes them. She makes her folds and hutches too. Chinchillas well repay their keep, either as meat or fur. And in the world of wool, the Angora is still an aristocrat. Three inch long Angora wool fetches about two pounds a pound. These pelts represent about six months work. Sort of second cousin to the Dormouse is the Golden Hamster. His fur is fine and silky. Any questions? She's asking, which came first, the bird or the egg? Well, well, any goose should know that. <laughs>